Okay, I have one question to ask before like I start the video because it's just been annoying me all day and I just need to make sure like I'm not overreacting about this. Okay, do you not hate when a guy who is bald head, he got less than half inch of hair on his head and he has the nerve to come up to you and tell you how to grow your hair and like what you should be doing with your hair when he doesn't have any bit of hair on his head. I don't know like it really irritates me and it happened to me today like this guy at my job came up to me first of all he asked me how I grew my hair this long and I started to tell him what I do and he continues to be like pause you're doing the wrong things to your hair this is what you're supposed to do and I'm just looking at him like you don't even have any hair on your head what? like how are you gonna give me hair advice first of all you asked me how I grew my hair this long and I continue to tell you how I grew my hair this length and then you proceed to tell me that what I'm doing is wrong me it looks like it's working I was so annoyed and like I'm still annoyed like thinking about it I'm annoyed because he was really serious like he was not joking he was like no you can't do that you're using too many oils you're not supposed to do that you can't wash your hair that often you're supposed to use this product and gonna tell me that I am not using products for black people I'm using too many white people products and I'm not white thank you for the news flash because I didn't know that I wasn't white when he said that I just walked away he's like where you go I said back to work but yeah, leave in the comments below if you hate when people who don't have no hair on their head, male or female, come at you and try to tell you what you should or shouldn't do. And today, the video will be on combs. Woo! I don't know if everybody gets excited about combs like I do, because you can see I have a quite a lot of bit of combs. The first brush that I see is this Denman brush, and I got mine from Sally. I use this brush for when I'm blow drying my hair. And I also use this brush when my hair is straight. But I don't like to use this brush on my hair for detangling because I feel like it just pulls too much. Um, I feel like the teeth are just too close together and I'm just too lazy to take every other row out like a lot of other people on YouTube do. So I only use this brush for when I'm blow drying or when my hair is already straight and I want to comb it out. My next brush is this and it's a paddle brush. And I only use this brush on my edges just to lay them down. Next comb, or combs I should say, are my collection of shower combs. And the main shower comb that I use is this one right here. Um, it comes with a hook and the main reason why I use this shower comb over these shower combs is because this shower comb as you can see has like kind of the bottoms are kind of have like balls on the ends of them or it's just rounded. So this helps to get the comb to glide through my hair easier than if they weren't there. So this is just the type of shower comb that I use. Um, it's basically the only one that I use. This shower comb came in a pack with my favorite shower comb. So it kind of just came in there with the shower comb that I have now. I don't really use this shower comb only because I like shower combs that have like handles and this one doesn't really have a handle so this comb right here will probably go in my purge pile like I said before I need to purge some of my combs so I'll probably be throwing this comb away because I don't get any use out of it and there's no point in holding on to it. So I bought this shower comb first but as you can see it doesn't really have those balls on the end and I just yeah, it was just ripping my hair, so I decided to get the other shower comb that I showed you before. So I don't really use this shower comb at all, but I will hold on to it because just in case my other one does break, like in the middle of wash there or something, and I don't have enough time to go get another one, I have this one as a backup. I just saw this in the store, and it said that the teeth kind of move with your hair. It is more flexible, so I thought, oh, great, so if it gets a... Uh, tangle or something this comb will be more flexible because as you can see there's kind of like this gap in the middle where you see my finger running and that's supposed to allow the teeth to be able to move back and forth a little bit and give it more flexibility to me it doesn't give any flexibility and actually the flexibility just it worked negatively for my hair it was just too flexible and my hair was just basically taking over control of this comb. So this is another comb that I'll probably give to one of my friends or I'll just purge and throw away. Next is this brush right here. This is the type of brush that my mom used to use on my hair back in the day. But these teeth right here are so rough. Like they are hardcore and I don't even use this at all on my edges. It would just rip my edges right out. So I 
never really use this brush and the only reason I'm gonna hold on to it is because it's sentimental and you know my mom used to use this on my hair when I was like younger so I just keep it because it reminds me of my childhood and this will tame your hair it will tame it or rip it out that's it but there'll be no knot either it will take the knot out your hair or it will rip the hair out <laughs> with the knot and all your hair will end up in here but that knot will be gone yeah, like if your mother ever clocked you on the back of your head with this it hurts like it is hard so if your kid acting up just take this out and clock them on the back of the head because the new brushes and stuff they don't they not they're not as sturdy as this one right here next comb is my lovely rat tail comb i want the rat tail the plastic rat tail not the metal rat tail and the fine teeth and the only reason why i keep or ever use this comb is for the rat tail because to part and the teeth i never use them the next comb or combs are these and it's the same type of comb and i used to use these combs faithfully detangle or detangle as you can say with this side right here and that was my wide tooth comb and then I would just comb my hair when it was already straight with this side right here and this side I would just like not pick out but um make my parts if I needed them this was like my all-in-one comb right here like you got the detangling the combing out your wrap and the pick or slash how I would just make parts in my hair this was my go-to comb right here. Like, I use this comb for everything. So I have two of them, and I feel like there's no reason we have two of them. So I'm going to keep this one, which is the black one, because sometimes I still do use this side if my hair is straight right over here, this side right here. And sometimes I still use this if I can't find my fine-tooth comb to cause um, parts and stuff like that in my hair. So I, I have two of them, so I'm going to give away the green one or I'm gonna throw it away and I'm gonna keep the black one because you guys know I love black my next comb is this one and once again I have duplicates of the same comb and this comb I use when my hair is straight once again and I'll just comb it out because the teeth aren't that fine but they're nowhere near wide either but when my hair is straight like freshly relaxed I can comb through my hair pretty easy especially if I have a nice trim too and a fresh relaxer this comb is like getting through my hair like butter keep both of these i know i'm supposed to be like getting rid of some but i don't want to the next comb is the trusty old rake comb and i usually use this comb when i'm taking my wrap down sometimes i will detangle with this comb if i don't have my shower comb this one you can find at your local beauty supply store so this one's probably more easier to get and cost less money than the shower comb so if your funds are low or you can't go get to a sally's but you do have like a local beauty supply store up the street from you pick this comb up and start detangling with it it will help out my next comb is this one right here and it is also a wide tooth comb but i never really use it because i find that i only use combs with handles because i can't grab this type of comb and i don't like to comb like this it's just uncomfortable to me so i never ever grab this comb and it's at the bottom of my little basket so i'm gonna just be giving this comb away my next comb or combs are these two and once again they're kind of similar to me not really but they're both with the fine teeth and they have no handle and I never use these combs. I'm going to be throwing it away. I'm not even going to give it to any of my friends because I feel like if I give them this comb, they're going to start using it and it's going to damage their hair. And then I'm going to feel responsible for them damaging their hair because this is the type of comb you got to know what you're doing with. And I, I'm just going to throw it away because I don't think anyone should ever be using this type of comb. There's no point. Like unless you're like combing out a wig or something, using that type of comb on your hair is no, no. And also with this one, the teeth are just too fine. I have no purpose of these fine teeth for me. And if it works for you, stay it. But I'm also not gonna give this to none of my friends because it will rip their hair out and then they're gonna blame me for them being bald. We'll just do the last two combs together because these two combs are also combs that I just don't use. One, because it has fine teeth and then if you can tell, on like the inside there's a oops sorry if you can tell inside there's something right here like ridges or something I don't know what those things are but I feel like they would rip my hair out it's like teeth inside of teeth of a comb and that's a no-no for me I guess it's this is like really gonna get your hair detangled because it has like things inside the comb like teeth on top of teeth and it has these metal things on 
end, which you can help to kind of part your hair, but I'm okay with my plastic rat tail comb, so this comb will be going in the garbage. And this comb right here, I don't know what to do. Like, how do you comb your hair with, is it supposed to go in here and then also in here? I don't know, I, I don't know, but I just feel like me combing my hair with this, it's just, it, it's not gonna work for me. Now, I could probably Google what the purpose of this comb is, but I just know it's not gonna work on my hair. And then it also has these two teeth, which I don't need, so this comb be getting thrown away. Looks like we finished all the combs. Yay! Woo woo, comb collection. So, I'm gonna go really fast through the combs that I kept. I'm keeping my Denman brush, keeping my paddle brush, I'm keeping this shower comb, I'm keeping this other shower comb, I'm keeping these two combs. I'm keeping this weight comb. I'm keeping this multi-purpose comb. I'm keeping this comb, which is a fine tooth comb with a rat tail on it. And I'm keeping this brush because it's sentimental values to me and it reminds me of my childhood. So yeah, I just want to show you my collection, all the different combs that I use on my hair journey. Leave down below like what's your favorite type of comb? Is it a wide tooth comb? Do you like rat tail combs? Like, just let me know what type of comb or brush that you use on your hair. But I'll talk to you guys later, and bye!